Hello again. This is on Mathematica for Architects and this is a short tutorial about how to get help. So Mathematica is an encyclopedic thing. So there are thousand if not ten thousand of different functions. If you write all the documentation it will be this uh, size. It's increasing faster than you can read all this stuff. It's like everywhere on the internet. It's awesome and awful. So definitely need strategies how to organize yourself and um, there's no way in my understanding that you uh, have this idea that you can learn these things step by step because this takes years. So you always have to jump in and learn to swim. And by that it's very important that if you see something you are able to look it up what it is about. So and I want to show you how this works. So we had this editor, this was fine, we go there uh, for in f further and other tutorials. Now it's on this evaluation. So we had for example this 2 plus 2 which is very intuitive and then in the input cell then we got the output cell get this evaluation. So how to get some help of what is going on there. So the very Simple thing is you go here, whatever it is, go for example the plus sign, have control and here say get help. Then you get here this for example a reg a expression, it's obviously more abstract and here you go in detail what it is about. So you have these kind of things. Good to understand easy to understand. So you can read whatever it is, it's of no... So you can have guides, arithmetic functions, now you go a step more up. For example here there are other functions. For example this is interesting. Total, you get the total of a list. Or this might be interesting that you uh, have your total A, B, C, D copy it, play around. So then uh, you go for example and say A is 3, B is 4, evaluate that, go here and then you see A and B are added, C and D are not uh, defined and now you can see this coloring. So here some suggestions how to uh, move. So that's uh, fine. Accumulate in contrast to that for example here accumulate on the same variables what happens. So it's in this case it's a a plus b a plus b plus c a plus b plus c plus d. So um, now, for example, this here is the same like total, yes? So now, for example, how to ask, how can I get the last element of, this is called a list. So we can ask what is it here. Hopefully it works. This is a list. Okay, so therefore we can ask and this turns out to be much more powerful. Mathematica get the last element of a list. Getting pieces of list last looks like this is what we are looking for. Here, last, here, bingo. Yeah. Okay, copy to clickboard from internet, having it last from, and now I can show you, take this, this, off. Yeah, or you can say this is D, and then we call it E, or result is this, and then we put last from result. So now let's for example do 
how to create a list, a, a sequence of numbers. Mathematica, create a sequence of numbers. Integer sequences, constructing lists, range. Let's look this up. No, that's not good. Create lists. Here we are. Look at this. For example, here, range. This makes a list of numbers from 5 to 10. So take that and play around with it. Range works like promised. We can go here and ask for the documentation of this circle. So it's four, so we get sequence of four. It's from 1.2 to 2.2 in steps of 0.15. Nice, huh? So we can do it with variables. So play around with these things, it's fine. Now get, for example, uh, random numbers. When the number generation is here, oops, that's too complicated. Let's look the random real. We have uh, pseudonym integers on the range. Uh, this is what we like. So go for a random integer. Random integer, good. This creates a random number between 1 and 6, so this is like throwing a, a dice, that's fine. Go here, now we get the same like the web page, but now it's better integration and faster. So, and here is what we, for example, can do. Random integer to 5, 20 things. So, 20 times throwing a dice from 0 to 6. So that's it. Good. Now, for example, we want to number these uh, throwing of a dice. So this is not good. We want to have it as we'd seen it before here from 1 to 10. 0 is not a good dice. So it's from 1 to 6. We'll make a list. No, it's one, two, six, and we are throwing again and again. Good. That's good. Now we want to cut, to give each throw a number in the sequence. So we have, for example, the range here. We understood that. So therefore, we want to have twenty. Give that a variable. Um, n is twenty. Um, put that to n. We have twenty range n, we want to start from 1 to n, now we have 20. Good. Now we have to combine these two lists. How to do that? We go to combine two lists, Mathematica. Combining lists, here we are. Combining lists, we have a join. Here you see ABC, ABC, XY, TU. It's simply merging them. Union just deletes a double. Riffle, mix them. This is what we need, yeah? AX, BY, that's what we need. Copy to clipboard. Paste. Here we are with Riffle. We can go for our documentation within our system. We have it. There's more of it. So we have uh, tutorials around that, uh, related guides, demonstrations with Riffle, demonstration projects. Go here and have a look what this might be. 
You can download these things, or oh, funny stuff. You always get the code, you can understand the code and uh, learn by that. So in this case it was very clear how it works. So the first list is range. We simply say this is list 1 is this, list 1 is this, list 2 is this. So therefore we put here list 1, list we have that. Good. Now we are one, six, two, four. That's not too good, huh? It's not good enough. So go for a raffle here and look what we have rearranging lists. Sort, union, rotate, bad left, rearrange, restructuring left. So here, flatten out any sequence of levels in the nearest list. Here, partition list and nested list in the sublists. Look at this. Uh, that's complicated. Uh, here are the examples. Look at this, what we have here. Partition, we have a list as we have, and then divided by two. This is what we want to have. So take this, copy, and say this is list 3, is this list 3. Here we are. First is 6, 2 is 4, 3 is 1, 4 is 6, and so on. So I think you have simply to practice these kind of simple things. Go to the internet, go to user groups, take the code, try to understand it, ask it, get online help, get other uh, comments on that, go to the internet. If you don't know the structures and the words how to use, go around and you have to do it for a serious amount of time and to go into it. There's no recipe for that. And it's a little tricky because like in an encyclopedia, you simply can use yourself and your orientation because things might be interesting, how to go there and there and so on. So, and you lose all ends. So it's a little complicated to focus on your question and uh, the learning curve is a little odd. So it takes a long time to solve the first problems, but after a certain time, you are used to it. And that's the way to manage your skills and to develop your skills in an unlimited, infinite amount of uh, information, which is not um, learnable infinite amount of uh, time. So you have to go and you have to learn to swim and you have to start with it uh, somehow. So as a kind of appendix, the most structured and helpful uh, a tutorial or description of how this language uh, works can be found here. It's uh, the Wolfram language, fast introduction for programmers, and here you see all these constructs, uh, constructions you have and you are used to in other uh, programming languages. For example, this uh, stuff with the lists. We have it here, what we played around. So, and there are videos for each of these uh, chapters. Then you can see numbers and fractions and a symbolic formula and an image uh, and they, one of the elements is another list. So they can they show you how One this of the most works common and, operations with lists is picking. But it's, I think it's good from one to the other time, as, an, as a programmer, it's very simple and then you have a fast access. But this is not a real problem to do that for programmers to learn another uh, language. Uh, if you're a non-programmer, then after a certain time, it's good to structure your ideas and understanding of this thing. So you can start with it, but don't think you can get it in the first line. Uh, you have to do it again and again, and then you have to practice, practice, and then you have to do it again. So this is like if you start with uh, piano playing, you have to make your 
exercises and then you can uh, go for uh, some freestyle stuff and then you have to make your exercises again and you have to reflect on that exercises free exercises and so on you have to do it like that in this in this play and don't ex uh, expect that you are able to get these uh, things easily in the first uh, step don't be slow so it's very important that you Read these things first. Get in this line, in a certain line, what you what you're able to get, and there's another row, and you get the next level of uh, understanding somewhere. So it's very important that you keep that in mind. So to give you an idea that this is really a cosmos of things, these are books about Mathematica. So if you go, for example, for geometry. These are books on geometry in Mathematica. You see, it's insane. So you can't read it, and it's <laughs> you can't get it. So they're written faster than you. You can keep up. It's a language. It's uh, like German or English language. You have to learn the language itself, and then you can um, make talks with the others. Don't try to understand everything. So that's it. Thanks.